Hello everyone and welcome back to Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. I appreciate your patience. No, I appreciate your presence today. Um, we're going to look at general energies um, from the for the next seven days. So through triple one four two one. Triple one four two one. Yeah. But bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? So let's get this party started, shall we? Do that. So what does the collective need to know for the next seven days, give or take? What does the collective need to know for the next seven days? Have faith in your dreams at the bottom of the deck. Don't let your past hold you back up the gut. Have faith in your dreams on the top. Okay. You're writing them down, yes? Keeping a practical plan? Yes, yes. Making, taking your action steps? I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. Especially since that weight's been lifted. My God. Confidence is your key to success. Don't let pride get in your way. Work through your fears. The energy is gaining momentum. You are good enough. Luck is on your side. Next seven days, huh? Purple, gold, gold, purple. Green, purple. Oh, that's nice. One, two, three, four. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay. Day one, have faith in your dreams. We've had some heavy dream activity. And if you haven't been called to keep a dream journal, you have, I, I would suggest starting if you haven't already. Because the dream activity is Intense, pretty intense. It's been pretty intense lately. But that's because there's a lot of now or never type energy happening. Especially with that weight of old thinking is past. Now it's Chariot. Clear vision. You are right with the moon. Leo. Hangman. The tower. And Pisces. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the chariot. It's been heavy. 
been feeling things I haven't felt in I don't know how long. I've always had vivid dreams, person. I've always had vivid dreams, but here recently they've been. <laughs> and you are right. You have a clear vision. You're right. You're right. Spirit is right here telling you, yes, you are correct. You're making the proper decisions to go to the next step. You are making the proper decisions to go to the next step. You are making the proper decisions to go to the next step. Come on, Spirit. Um, and these moves are being made in silence. Look at the imagery with this Leo and this Pisces. Like it's fire and it's water. The stance is the same. It's like you've got You're coming into vapor lock with yourself. And amazing things happen. Big, big things happen when you come into vapor lock or in lockstep with yourself and your spirit. And what I'm getting here is that you are right on target. You are right. Oh, let's go. Have faith. Keep your vision clear. Keep your vi keep your vision clear, hangman. Keep your vision clear, cause timing, timing and confidence. Are needed. Which brings us right into day two. Day two, confidence is your key to success. So like we were talking about in day one, just to bring us into this one, um, you've got, you are absolutely right in what you're thinking and what you're dreaming. Your suspicions, you are, you are right on the money, right on it, I tell you, and right on it, and it's all about the timing. don't read reversals but you know what yeah I'm doing it oh come what it shut your mouth you just shut your whole mouth all right so we got the nine of cups then we've got the seven of cups and the tower on the flip and then we've got the nine of swords upright the knight of pentacles Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. I, mm. I got my mind made up and I'm gonna jump. It's gonna hurt for a minute, but I'm coming around the bend and this shit is over. Hold on, did you get that? Okay. Let's try this again. So you are barreling towards what making it's making your heart happy because that's what's in your vision is making your heart happy. You've got your mind made up. Oh, hold on. He's singing in the right key. 
You got your mind made up and you're gonna jump and it's gonna hurt real bad. But you know it's worth the things that come around and this shit is over. All right, so don't let pride get in your way with the full moon in Leo. Mm. Don't let pride get in your way. Well, yeah, because stuff is over. And just got finished doing the shit. The shit is over. Um, you want to be a good winner, not a sore winner. Yeah, because here comes the Five of Pentacles. The na oh, Nine of Wands in reverse. Oh. Get rid of the shit you don't need. Hurts a little bit, but not nearly as bad as hanging on to it. That's for damn sure. Yeah, the Emperor. I want quiet. Peace. Quiet. The Page of Swords. In the reverse. Like, I've done the research. Trust me. I've done the math. I'm good with this. Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Cups. Again on the reverse. And the moon in the upright. We are cut. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Don't let pride get in your. Okay. Don't let pride get in your way. There's that emperor energy again because you. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a feeding frenzy. I'm getting. You know how, like, um. Sharks get a taste of blood and they, like, black out and got to do all the things that they got that's you know how an emperor or how someone who has power can get drunk on power and that can cause them to look over crucial mistakes that can run rampant on their pockets and they won't be able to recognize when they are taking from themselves and cheating themselves because it'll be too hidden. So let's work through your fears. I mean, obviously this is a big, this is a big deal, right? You don't wanna, you don't wanna sabotage yourself again. You worked too hard to come here. You've learned so many lessons this this last go around that you know it's been upper level shit. Like it's you know yeah I yeah and it gets scary sometimes coming across stuff and dealing with and having to be confrontational and. Then you gotta deal with like real death and oh, it's just, oh, it's just. It's just. Death again, two of pentacles, three of pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Swords in reverse. The Empress in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. 
and two of pentacles in reverse. And I've got the whole deck in reverse. Okay. So. through your fears. Fears of, I cannot. Fears of success. It's always fear of success, isn't it? It's always a fear, oh, but what if you fly? It's always a fear of success, isn't it? Always, 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 always. My God, my God, my God. But when you do, but when you do, you're going to be so happy. And this, this success, this is what you're afraid of, really? Never having to worry about this ever again. And your heart is happy. This is, this is, this fear of success. Oh, but what if you fly? Hmm. And the energy is gaining momentum. So... You got confidence, you got pride, and you got fear, okay? And the energy is gaining momentum with confidence, pride, and fear at the helm. Now what? Sweaty and concentrating. Concentrate. So now what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, <laughs> Page of Swords, Three of Swords, Knight of Swords. Uh, to having all these puppies out at the same time. Okay. So the energy is gaining momentum. the nine of wands in reverse here I think no 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 
Nine of Wands on the flip is here. Yeah, so you've got the Nine of Wands in reverse over here. Um, also the Seven of Pentacles, which, oh, which were in reverse. And now they're here in the upright. Okay, I see where we're, okay. I mean, hydrate. You gotta lovingly cut off a thief. You have to lovingly cut off a thief. But you gotta make it quick. Because you're seeing where things don't work. And it may not be a physical person. It could be a mindset, it could be a habit. You know, it's not always, it's me and some enemy. It's not always that. It's not always that. But it's something that you've become accustomed to. And have put a lot, put a, oh, a lot of, a lot of feeling into it. And you found out, like, look, look at this whole story here. Like, you found out that like it felt good, but it's taking from you. And you're, you're looking out for you first. you are good enough. You are absolutely positively <gasps> worth the investment. The whole deck just gonna don't want to be on camera today. Okay. That is just fine. We will not put you on camera today. Oh. That's, that's per, yeah. Let's sit over here. Jeez, I'm done. Yeah, you too, Ten of Pentacles. Thank you. Okay. You are good enough. You are good enough. Oh, good. Okay. You are good enough. Three of 
cups. The Hierophant. Seven of Pentacles. What is with the Seven of Pentacles? Four of Wands. Four of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. And King of Wands. Okay, you know what? Absolutely right. Absolutely right. You have surrounded yourself with the right kinds of people that cause you to look deeper into yourself and see where you aid in this. You have healed it. You have protected it. And now it's time to grow so that you can come to new levels of leadership. You are ready for new levels of leadership. You are ready for new levels of leadership. is on your side. Mm -mm. Okay, y'all jumped out, but I didn't shuffle. So, luck is on your side. Let's see, luck is on your side. I am going to have to fill in some more talking. I see that already. You always have a choice. Only one from each deck. That is right. You always have a choice. of pentacles you are really worried about somebody stealing from you you are really you you are serious about your perimeter lines of defense you are you in security you think about this a lot this this is on a, you as in me you think about this a lot Man, and we got the Five of Swords in reverse. Like, I get it. You tired too. Tired of fighting that shit. You always have a choice. If you, how, if you're only going to think about theft, you, you swords are going to be dull. They're going to be dull. You're using them all the time on everything. Like, you know, you could choose to believe that people aren't trying to take from you. There's there's this whole other way this story can go. That Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, like, you know, you could be bringing in money. Instead of worried about who's dealing from me. Hey, man. We are stepping up in the earning department. I know it take it you gotta play the long game, man. Wear you out, but I mean working on it. It's happening. It's like it's like the nick of time pterodactyls. 
from the 13 and a half lives of Captain Blue Bear. They would show up at the, at the, at the very last moment. They were old and tired, and Captain Blue Bear rode and was the eyes of a just-in-time pterodactyl. He was getting old, getting ready to, getting ready to retire. The Knight of Pentacles in this case would be the pterodactyl for this Five of Swords energy. It's like, here I come to save the day. Well, damn, dude, it took you long enough. Yeah, but look what I'm bringing with me. Steady increase. I speak increase. I speak increase. Yeah. And with this new level of leadership here, I mean, yeah, yeah, it makes perfect sense. Oh, look what's going to happen here, y'all. Oh, this is going to be great. I can already see it. All right, hold up. Let's see. Yup, with the Nine of Swords. Hi, Death. Yeah, we're, we're about done with this. We are almost done with this foolishness here. We are almost done. Almost done. So, quick recap. Luck is on your side. You always have a choice. So remember, looking back at the beginning of this, you've got the fire and the water that are equally matched, equally matched. And you can either choose to see things the way that they are or choose to see things in a more catastrophic way. Either way you goes, you're right. Remember, you have this clear vision. You have done the work, right? And Spirit already said, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. because you're still concerned about who stole from you. Who stole from you? Because you're facing this new change and this newness of a thing. So yeah, I, 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 my heart's out in my chest. I, I kind of looking at what I lost right now and really taking stock of it and causing yourself a bunch of mental anguish over over things that are already done because you chose happiness. You always have a choice and you chose happiness. So we've got the Five of Swords in reverse because you're, the things that you're battling are the things that are, again, hidden from you. All because you are focused on the brilliant, focused on the brilliance of the pain because you were focused on the brilliance of the pain. It's all right, because 
with that brings new, young, fresh energy. And this is the steadiest one from that merry from that merry band of men and or masculine energies. And here's another one of his comrades cutting out the stuff that was getting in the way and that would have taken like protecting protecting the financial resources that are coming in. So you focused on the brilliance of the pain because you're still in the battle. Still in the fight. But this is steady growth. And it seems like it's small beginnings. And you don't know how it's going to turn into how it's going to turn into this thing that you've been dreaming. Even though Spirit has already told you, you are right in that assumption. And that is the direction in which we're headed. But you're almost done. And you'll use the tools that you've learned to rule in a brand new way, which is going to be financially advantageous to you. Not only that, you'll have you'll enjoy new levels of security based on this foundation that you've built. Well, thank you so very much for spending some time with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye now.